Well, Stephen, we say that dreams never die and big champions never die. Welcome back. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Patrick. Uh, I knew I've been skiing while I skied well all summer, and it's been a long road back, just working through all the injuries and everything like that. And uh, having a crash right before the season was a little setback, but I've been feeling better every week. And coming here, I started feeling really comfortable. And uh, I heard Rock come down, and they were cheering. I was like, it's open. I can do this. And uh, when I went off the camels, I flew really far, and I was like, all right, it's on. I'm flying. And I had a little mistake, exit shot slot. But uh, I knew the skis were flying, and I'm happy. Well, it must be such a dream for you. It must be amazing. <laughs> it is a dream come true, for sure. But uh, it's definitely, I got a little lucky with the weather, for sure. The, uh, it's a weather race. And, but I capitalized on the opportunity that ski racing. There's always different variables. And this is a chance that I had. And now I'll be back in the 30 and start breaking in there. You'll be fighting very hard for this. <laughs> yes. I have. It was a long winter watching everybody doing their thing across Europe and uh, just me wanting to get back there and all my rehab and everything. It's, it's definitely a big payoff. Any way to compare the two victories? Uh, whew. Compare the two victories? Definitely the first one was really special. I was on it all year long, skiing super, super well. Uh, this one's different just because of the fight.